Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We have a super exciting unboxing here for you guys today. And we do have a bunch of stuff ready for the Thrift and Comic Show. So Angela's been working really hard. We got a bunch of raw books. We have some slabs over here. We tried to bring a little bit of everything. So we do have some Silver Age. We have some more modern books, a few signed things, and we will be giving this away to one of you guys. So we're really excited. Everyone always laughs about our crazy knife we use. We need to get an actual box cutter one of these days, but I think it's more fun with this living on the edge. And I'm honestly kind of scared to open this because I've never opened one. I don't want to mess it up. Ooh, oh, that's sick. Sick that is. They got it in a nice protector. That's awesome. Oh, look how sick. See, and it is limited. So you got 208 out of 250. This would look awesome. Put it in a frame and like decorate it. Oh, look at that. You got the COA on the back. Oh, that's awesome. Rise of Legendary Heroes, 10th anniversary, 18 by 24 print. Hand numbered, fine art print, featuring artwork by Todd Nock. Limited edition size of 250. So it even comes with a COA. Oh, see, I think this would be amazing to give away at the Thrift and Comic Show. And make sure you guys give Upper Deck a follow. We're gonna have all of their information in the description. And then we'll also leave a link. So if you wanna get one of these limited prints, you can go ahead and grab one for yourself. Here is some of the Golden Age stuff I'm gonna be bringing. They're definitely not super high grade copies, but these covers and these books are really hard to find. So any grade is better than no grade. I got a lot of them in here too. Some the Chamber, Chamber of, of Chills, Chills are really cool. That's issue number 20. It'll be interesting to see too what sells the best. Cause I remember when we went to the Deland show, it was like an even split between the CGCs, yeah, the dollar, like the dollar books. books were a hit. So it's always fun seeing what everyone's picking up at the shows, seeing what everyone's gravitating towards. But I think these Golden Age books will be really nice. We know a lot of people have been asking for some of the Golden Age that we've had. So we're pretty excited to bring it to Thrift and Comics and see if anyone wants any. Yeah, it'll be interesting too to see what happens because we're actually not going to bring, this is number one right here, really cool. We're not going to be bringing any dollar books. I want to make sure that our space is full with as many good books as possible. I don't want to have too many um, too many dollar books out. So I figured what we would do is just load everything up. Hey guys, it is the next day. It is Thursday afternoon right now. So as you can see, we still have our old stickers on here from when we did the Deland show a few months ago. So we printed out some new ones and we decided to do a pretty crazy deal on everything for the thrift and comic sale. So we're gonna do all comics 25% off, only excluding the golden books and the CGC. So we gotta take all these stickers and put them on here. This is all I think we're gonna be able to like fit. We have three tables and I think eight short boxes will fit on each table. I did have some time today. I didn't even have to go to Home Depot. I had some stuff left over. My really cool new sturdy comics den rack that we can bring places. So I did use these bigger racks this time that have the, um, I think this is like a two inch lip. So it holds the CGCs a lot nicer. And then I kind of just overlapped them because they are these taller ones. All right, everybody, what is going on? It is almost game day, Friday over here. Really hot day outside. I'm loading up the free comic books right now. So these are all the comic books I'm gonna be bringing for everybody that just kind of shows up and hangs out with us for the day. We got a bunch of cool stuff going on. I'm loading the car up right now. And then uh, we're gonna head out of here. We have arrived, we are we here. We made it, we got our rack in here. We survive, the so we're gonna filled. unload the car, yeah. set everything up, but let's give you guys a look. We're giving away the gunslinger spawn with the comic. Whoa! Oh, no that's way. sick. We got the art print, we got some toys, this is gonna be sick. Nice. And we got Super everything excited. set up over here already, so yeah, it looks we're like. About 90 there. I was thinking more of like that versus, you know, like here, because then you're losing space. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. Looking good. I might have to put a couple on the floor, but it's not the end of the world. Yeah, we'll see how many we have. Bring stuff back home too. Yeah, we could bring some of the two dollars back or something. Thanks a bunch, too, Alex. Yeah, good man. Guys, you got to check out Thrifty Comics. Too. If you're in the Maitland area, Orlando area, of Florida, Alex is a great guy. Yeah, we'll have these, the address and everything in the description. Yeah, he's got these awesome events every um every month. This is it's not always this big. This one we're kind of doing together as like a joint thing. This is our first time kind of promoting a comic book event with somebody. A little nervous to see the turnout, but hopefully um, everybody comes out and has a really good time. I cannot find this place. <laughs> Gina found it. Oh, she started the wrong turn. I came this way. <laughs> I was literally here. You have to. 
do just have to go that way and go around because the parking is like sideways. Okay. All right, let's get these free ones out of here. Yeah, get the free boxes. I'm gonna give these to Alex. I think what we're gonna do is just leave these at the front. Yeah, and just have them. You know, that way, everybody that just walks in, on yeah, can like get some free ones. Comic book day, you know what I mean? Pretty much it for um for the setup at Thrifting Comics. Yep. So we'll be back tomorrow morning, bright and early. Yep. Gotta just bring the slabs, the golden age, set up the rack. And then we're good to go. Day of the Thrift and Comic sale. It's like, I think it's like eight o'clock right now. I am super excited. We're the first ones here. As usual, you guys know how I always like being early to stuff and I wanted to make sure we got good parking. So we're right here in the front. I told Ramon, I was like, he, he didn't see me yet. Let me yeah. sneak in. And then I saw Sarah look at me. I was like, I got some stuff that I want to sell and move, you know, and I got people stuff to pick up. Because nice. yesterday we went to CGC, picked up over 200 bucks. I saw a lot of uh, people's pre-screen stuff come back. Um, I'm glad that they're, you know, going through them pretty quick, so I can't complain. But sometimes you have to say, is the speed of service equal the quality? Mm. And that's a concern. For all these chargers. Oh, got the fanny. Fanny packed up today. Fanny packed. I got my fanny pack too. I got to put on. So a lot of these are actually books we've had for a little bit. We've picked these up in collections over the last couple years. So it'll be interesting to see what people enjoy more, the pre-priced raw stuff or the CGC. I didn't bring too many sets, although I do have a whole bunch. I left my complete Moon Knight set at home. Plus I have my uh, my Conan 1 through 275 I left at home. I didn't bring that. It's just not enough room for everything, unfortunately. Got some really cool stuff though. Look at these. These are um, old adventure comics. Really nice shapes on a lot of these. Some old Batman, detective comics. A little bit of everything in these boxes. Some Silver Age, Bronze Age. Well, looking at his books, because he wants to do a submission and you know, we're just doing like a little pre-screen. Oh, that's the recalled one there. Yeah, that's the the error. It's just it was printed too dark, from my understanding. Oh, this one's cool. Spider-Man India. Miles, goodness. White Tiger. First Heat Wave. This is a cool Golden Age book we got in a collection recently. Two O Purple Label. Got some Star Wars. A little bit of everything. <laughs> Tried to bring lots of variety. The hip hop on Miles. That one's nice. And first Tiger Shark. And there we go. That's the slab wall. You guys work so well together. You should consider getting married. <laughs> <laughs> One of these days, right? Almost 32 books, except we're missing some over there. So like 30 books on the wall, which is a pretty good amount. And we still got a bunch of slabs in here. And then we got all the raw books. So I think that's everything. I think we're ready to go. We got our raffles over here ready. So now we wait. Oh, I don't want to <laughs> mess it up. <laughs> we did this at our house sale. We had everybody sign one. Okay, that sounds great. I would love to. I'd be so it's honored. Fun. Got four signatures so far. You I think we just got to get Alex and everybody else to sign it, and then we'll just wait for everybody to be here. Yeah, this one just isn't. I feel like I have like a baby, you know? <laughs> That'd be a, a, a feeling so red. red. <laughs> yes, I don't know if Angela is prepared for this. What? Having children. Oh, me? No, who no. else? <laughs> First person to, um,. Like purchase something. We're gonna yeah. we have some free slabs too. So no rush to get your purchase in, but <laughs> He's like, well, you know, we can I'll buy these while I keep looking. <laughs> you have three slabs yeah, to choose one. from. Well, that one you. is cracked. But it is signed. This one's cracked. Okay. Yeah, you can it. see on the bottom corner it's Oh I see, it's got a little cracky dacky. Well I have no idea what anything's worth, but I'll go ahead and I'll take the cracked one. How's that? Oh, there you perfect. go. Awesome. Got a really nice stack of books over mm -hmm. here. First purchase. Yeah, those Jimmy Olsen's are really nice. 10 cent covers too. 10, 11, 12, 18. Second purchase. So pick out a slab. The 9, 8. I'm going to take the Dracula one. Yeah, the Dracula's cool. Better go Dracula. All right, so this is the only one we got left. Oh, looks like he just got Oh, Thank there you, we go. Thank you. And there you go. Nice stack of DC. Looks like you guys are DC heavy today. Hey, don't knock it, man. I think uh, James Gunn is going to be able to... That's shake what the, that's, shake the tree in my That's in what my, Alex has been preaching to us since, Let me tell you. Uh, I've been a DC collector for years when everybody was like, ah, who cares about DC? And I've been buying the stuff up cheap. You get my hobby, he was happy. Oh, you found the Flash and Justice happy. League covers. Mm -hmm. I love that but, one right there. I, I have a um, I didn't even play with my collectible movie. box I been, I using that cover on it. Looks like someone brought some original art with them. Willingham, who did the Fable stuff, that's another guy's page. 
I'm going to put these up right now. Because I'm going to swap this table out. Certainly, sir. Man, these are awesome. Wow, look at that. Oh, that's nice. Is that George Perez? George, yeah. I commissioned this from him back at 13, and this I was able to get off of eBay. I was delighted beyond words. This is beautiful. This is sick. He put so much time into it. You could tell. He's an amazing guy. Recipes. Yeah. Loved him. These are both Bill Willingham. This is from a GL annual, and that's a JLA annual. A little Dr. Fate, a little oh, John cool. Jones. I gotta call Lee and see which one it was. Get your Are Lee liver over at Living Dead? Didn't make it today, so I told him I would check. Some of them are in rougher shape. A lot of them are, honestly, but they're hard to find. Yeah, but you know, the thing is, is that I, I don't collect for the resale. I do. <laughs> I collect because of that. We have any silver you try me in today? There, we did sell some recently. Um, a gentleman bought a whole bunch of it, but scattered in these boxes, there's a bunch of stuff. So I, I don't know exactly where it would be, but I do have some. Okay. You just picked those two up? Yes. What made you want to get both of them? <laughs> he gave me a deal. <laughs> two is better than one, right? Early yeah. detective. That's a great one there with elongated man and yeah. bat mite. Do you want a text or email receipt? Yeah. Yeah. That's, a, that's a cool one, right? Quadruple sign. The McFarlane signature is the cool part of that one. Yeah, well, the McFarlane's always is. I got 350 on it. I figure that's probably the price of the signature. He's gonna pick it up. I had 350 on it. We're gonna do it for three. Look at that, guys. This is actually the first time someone's ever like made something for us. I'm a woodworker. He took a scrap piece of wood and did it all. That's Beautiful awesome. piece of wood here too. Yeah, we'll hang this up in the office, man. This will be sick. No other slab out the door. It was either that or the brother voodoo, but. It was it was, it was a little bit too much for me today. So. Yeah, that brother voodoo. I'm surprised no one's asked about it yet. I got 525 on it, but I'm moving on all these prices. Nothing is uh, nothing set in stone today. We're gonna pivot. Okay. No one is entering the raffle. I don't so think they know yell. about it. Why don't we just yell and tell everyone to come get a raffle ticket, and then we'll do it right now. It's only 11:30. So what do you guys think? When should we do it? I don't know. I'm stressed. That's cool. Yeah, it's probably a one grade. But I don't care. I want yeah, it. This is one giveaway today. We have this other giveaway that we're doing over here. So that lets you know what you got to do to enter this giveaway for this poster here is very awesome and then we got a gunslinger spawn with the comic to go with it might as well take advantage of it okay hey, Alex add this to we're adding this what? <laughs> to the giveaway we're him having this here for all of us that's worth wow us giving a little back to him everybody gets a wrap it doesn't matter which one nope they both got the same number so I'm just calling numbers so everyone I think has a ticket now so we're good to go hopefully I don't break my neck okay attention everybody oh Jesus <laughs> I use my loud voice. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do the raffle. Did anybody not get a raffle ticket before I pull the raffle? I ain't get one. Okay, perfect. Come, <laughs> come up here and get a, get a raffle yeah. ticket. Everybody ready? Ticket eight, seven, five, six, one, four, five. Oh, you got this really cool card playmat, and then you got the print. So this is really cool. Upper Deck sent us this. It's actually limited to 250, and then uh, the COA is on the back too from Upper Deck. And it's a knock artwork piece. So. And I think knocks local too. Super exciting. So that was fun. That was our first ever like in-person giveaway. So that was pretty exciting. We had to park like way by the dumpster. Oh man. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't even think about the parking outside. Yeah, I'm sure the parking's like packed. I think it's the last. We took the last spot. You just gave that to her? Yeah. Yeah. I had I had an extra copy of it. No way. It's a really nice shape. Isn't that too. cool? So good. That's a nice copy too. Another one added to the collection. Thank That's you sick. so much. You're always bringing gifts. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm Santa Claus. Here That's the big one. Kids. All that had to go in the back and then I retired. I would and love books again. I got White pager. It looks great in the front. The only thing that happened was that. What we call a, a, a spine roll. Because, and you know what causes that? A lot of people don't know. When you put them in the boxes and you or someone in the past you bought a book from, he either had a bag and board that was bigger than the book okay. or smaller. Okay. And when you start piling all the books in, your books are like that in a box. Uh -huh. With the pressure and weight, it causes the, the spine to collapse. Okay. So now we got to round it out and bring its natural look okay. like the way it came out so okay. that's definitely fixable okay. okay so this is a nice book is for everyone out there it is first Hellboy in comic book but not his first appearance yep. 
His first appearance, do you know what it is? Dime Press. Yeah. Well, no, there's a, that was a... There's a Comic-Con exclusive. Like, San Diego. Right? San Diego yeah. Comic-Con, yes, the which is number two. But the one you're speaking, the Dime Press, was only issued in Italy. You consider that his first appearance or second appearance? Oh, here we go. There's the major argument. Well, the reason to that problem is because of publication date issue. That one book was released before the other. and But if you want to look at the whole thing... The annual has him in, what, what, 14 pages or so? I mean, he's um, he's almost in the whole book. The problem is, since he's on the cover of this, this takes the precedent. This goes back to the Hulk 180, 181 issue. 180, for me, as growing up, even in the Overstreet, the 180 said first appearance of Wolverine in it for many years. Something happened with the printing. Someone took that out of the printing and then all of a sudden 181 became the first full appearance we're debating he's like you want to like with the movie coming out soon he thinks the price is already at its cap and i'm like i disagree i don't think that this book is at its cap on the price yet so but i also just love spider-man noir any version of spider-man honestly in my opinion always going to go up what's the price i have on there 250 i'll do 225 on it if you want great seeing you here. yeah it's good seeing you too man they said you weren't coming i came out. here for the pre-code i got some over here too <laughs> I don't want to cut too crazy a deal, <laughs> and now I'll get in trouble. Oh, there's no such thing as too crazy of a deal. So we closed down our store. No, you didn't. Here, yeah, we Who's did it with full. We told, we locked them in there and said, "You guys stay here. We'll be back." I can't believe you're selling this stuff. I only brought it because I didn't bring the Silver Age Spider-Man. If somebody was trading me Silver Age Spider-Man for this, it'd have to be half value to full value. You don't trade like moderns for Golden Age or mid-level keys for Grails. It's got to be even, you know, even level. You want to trade pre-code horror? You gotta have pre-code horror to trade, or golden age at least. We didn't have any of the things. Oh, we got a lot of atlas. Yeah. We don't have any of the golden age horror or the silver age Spider-Man. And I decided to. I wouldn't uh, have came for the silver age. I, I wouldn't have came for the silver age Spider-Man. You like the golden age? This, this, this kind of stuff gets me out. Six, eight, fifteen, thousand. I think we've made the most amount of money on the Golden Age. That was expected, though. I didn't bring any um, Silver Age Spider-Man or super, super early big key issues because I did bring this. I, I brought the Golden Age, so I didn't bring some of the uh, the other key issues. But all that means is we still have some more key issues to bring at later shows. So still some more fun stuff to look forward to. Priced a little high at 225. Last sold was I think we said 125. So I'd be down to do. 125 on it. Come down a whole hundred dollars for my sticker price. Such a classic cover. Yeah, the Moon Knight books moved a lot. <laughs> you got Booster Gold number two. Second appearance of Booster Gold. Thank you. Classic X Men cover on 150. Now I'm gonna sell my 6.5, make some of the money back. Going to go home. Awesome book. Those with the spider shirt? I gotta be honest, I don't have any comps for it because there's none available. And in 9.8, it's the preview of the first Witchblade. There's a 9.6 listed on ebay right now for um 300 i will do 300 on the 98 if you want golden age got hit pretty hard we sold a decent amount of slabs too but the pre-priced stuff i still got a lot of stuff left it looks like we just lost about one short box of pre-priced stuff lots of signatures on this one that look really cool i feel like on the back of them we should put like what the event was in the year you know did you see the peacemaker that was already i did not i think it's this one peacemaker number one i think it's in the back this one right i think i had like 18 bucks on it Okay, well that's sick too though that one has a coa i believe on the back the homelander cover i have i think i have a double bag and boarded oh god okay. yeah, I I these these have trumped it you can just yeah. throw that anywhere you want yeah just put it right in the front we'll do it alphabetical there's the other alien cover why do you hate me <laughs> do you want me to wait before i swipe this <laughs> I'll do that one. What do I have on there? 12? I'll do six bucks on it if you want. Okay, fine. All right, that one was how much? 20. Yeah, I'll do 20 bucks on this one. Okay, so let me do... Batman 243. It is 4.30 right now, so technically there's an hour and a half left, but I think it's done. She's like ready to go home. 
hung out all day with us though thank you gina <laughs> we got a bunch of stuff left the golden age was probably the best thing to sell today we sold a lot of cgc's had to redo the wall a whole bunch still got a lot of really nice keys up here surprised nobody picked up this fantastic four got the 57 the hulk first thunderbolts the zatanna lots of great books yeah, we still got some good stuff left, so keep an eye out on whatnot. I'm sure we'll be running some of it on there. We're gonna do this one first, and then we're gonna do the uh, Omega Men. Man, this is awesome, like, oh my gosh. The winner for the Gunslinger Spawn comic and toy is going to be number... Three, five, two, seven, one, nine, seven. There you go. Sweet. Now for the Omega Man comic. Thank you very much, Harley. Known as Jackson's dad on the channel. Jackson's dad. <laughs> <laughs> Three, five, two, seven, one, nine, eight. Winner, winner. Awesome. First appearance of Lobo. Look at that, you see? You didn't have to get the graded one. Now you got that one. Exactly. Awesome. Thank you. Very, very Great cool. Give at first in comics. That's right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks again to, nice grab. to Harley. And thank you, Alex. I don't think we've thanked you enough, Alex. Oh, yes, you guys have. You thank have you been very much. the best. This has been the best day I think we've had selling comics since we started the comics then. Thank you guys for everything you guys have done. You guys have helped me so much. Being that I'm the new guy here, so I keep telling everybody after the first YouTube video, we've had so much business from you guys, so I'm grateful to you guys out there and to you too. The second Saturday of August is going to be our next quarterly big sale. I don't know how much money we made, but definitely made more than the house sale. It's been a really fun day. Comment down below what you guys think of the Thrifting Comic comic swap sale, and I hope we can see you guys at the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave a comment down below. Let us know what you thought. Give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.